All right, I've had a, a couple requests to do a um, tutorial on Tyler Childers' song, Follow You to Virgie. And I'm gonna try to fulfill that request and um, give you something to practice. So um, the tuning for the song, he, he's in standard tuning when he plays it on the third fret. Um, and I can't sing like Tyler Childers, I'll be the first to admit it. And I can't sing in his key and so he um so what i've done is and i always have my guitar tuned down a full step um because then i can always compensate with the capo and put it on the second fret and be in standard tuning and just play around with different keys that fit my voice for whatever song i'm playing um so in this one i've got it tuned down the full step and i still put it on the third the third fret the capo and but it's tuned down a full step so it's easier for me to sing um, you can do it however you want. If your guitar is tuned down a, a full step and you still want to play it in the same key as Tyler Childers does, you can put it on the fifth fret, and there you go. Um, if you're listening at home and your guitar is in standard tuning, you don't want to screw around with tuning, all you got to do is put your capo on the first fret, and it'll sound just like mine for purposes of learning and, and making sure your ear is lining up with what I'm doing. Um, and then by all means, if, if you want to sing it the way that Tyler does, then just run it back down to the third fret and, and go for it. Um, so the chords to the song, um, he takes some pretty pretty simple basic chords here and, and makes them really interesting with the hammers and pull-offs. Um, so they're G, C, D, and D7. And that's it. Um, and he's mainly playing the G and the C throughout the song in the chorus and the verse. And so I like to play my G in what I've been told is called a folk style, where you're using your second and third finger on the fifth and sixth strings instead of using your first and second fingers. Because if you're, if you're there and then you go to the C, you're, you kind of have to flip your entire hand around to get back to the C. Unnecessary movement. Um, it, does it hurt you? No, not at all. Um, it's, just, it's just a little bit more comfortable to just drop it down. All right, so... The intro, um, he starts out in G and then he does a hammer on the second fret of the A string while he's in the G chord. So he's alternating his strumming between picking that, that A string. And then the C. So and then when he gets down to the C, he does he does a, a couple of different fills in the song, and I'll go through through them kind of in order of difficulty. So the first one is a hammer. So he does two hammers and then a pull off while he while he's kind of strumming through it. So. hammering on to the second fret of the D string. So it's two hammers and a pull off. And then back to the G. So that's the first one. And then the second one is a little more difficult. Um, he actually does a, a hammer on pull off combo all in one on the D string, the G string, and then back up to the D string. So he kind of walks down and back up with all these little hammers. So I'll go through it um, pretty slowly and then I'll explain it. So what he does is he, he does that same hammer when he gets to the to the C chord. And then instead of just hammering the, the second time on the D string, he does a hammer and pull off. And then an open G, the string right below it.
so again. And that's it. That's those are the fills. There's the or the yeah the hammers and the fills. So you got the one while he's in G, and then C. That's it. Those, that's really how you play the song. Um, that's the majority of it. Uh, there is one transition to the D when he sings about um, uh, I can see her in the pines. And he's transitioning from the C. And then I like to do a hammer onto the, the second fret of the G string while I'm in the D shape. And then D7. And then a hammer on the third fret of the high E string. So again, D7, and then you pull it back off, and then back to the G, same, same hammers. that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or you need me to go through something um, in more detail, just hit me up and I'll try to post something up for you. Uh, but good luck and uh, get after it. Thanks for listening.